Cool. They're going to be done this minute. OK. We'll get started, though. Um, so we're just going to do a really quick conclusion of uh, what happened in the unconference session. So the 1T Gov people will come and deliver that. Um, in the meantime, though, um, yeah, not only is there an after event at the Heart and Crown, so we encourage you guys to come, um, but just to summarize, we um, have been talking a lot today about um, different aspects of open. I think even from our presentations this morning, it was clear that it's not just about open source tools or open source software, um, that it really is the culture and then also the components that we focus on specifically within Treasury Board, which is why we really wanted to host this today, is to focus on what types of rules do you guys need to make this happen. So I have received lots of feedback throughout the day. Um, if you guys can send us that um, either through email or um, we've set up a, uh, we'll send it out to all of the participants. If you weren't able to attend this, the policy jam session, we started to um, get feedback on the open source policy draft that we have out right now. Um, so there's been a few issues that have been logged, but if you guys want to contribute either via putting your issues directly into the policy um, or uh, putting a pull request in to make changes directly on the policy, um, we'll start to create a policy uh, or collaborate on one that works for everybody. So that would be one of the key things that we want to get out of today is start to get feedback on a policy that works for you guys. Um, the second thing is we want to finish uh, that first version of the Open First White Paper. I know that we've been uh, talking about this lots um, in the past couple of weeks. So uh, we're going to incorporate some additional feedback on that. But if you guys can, that we've received um, for the past few weeks up until today, it's gone through uh, the Open Source Advisory Board, through the Enterprise Architecture Review Board, and now here. So uh, we want to finalize that and have something that uh, you guys are able to share through your department. Communications, departments and agencies. Uh, communication is one of the key things that I think at least is a takeaway for me today is that uh, just because we talk about it in a small group doesn't mean that it's getting to everyone. So uh, we'll make sure we continue to do a better job of that as well. Uh, in terms of the tools, again, if you weren't in um, the smaller training room, uh, we talked a little bit about the Open Resource Exchange and some of the other tools that uh, we're creating so that we can start to do a better job of sharing open source code. We're now able to do it through the Open Government Portal, uh, but we're still working on uh, what will go there and how it will get posted, uh, so more to come on that. And uh, we'll also be sharing some information soon on rules related to, or updated rules related to uh, intellectual property. So that's been a sticking point for some people, so uh, we will be sure to do that. Um, if you guys will use this email or will use this opportunity to send you guys out uh, an email to all of the participants, um, but please do join and follow the GitHub pages because we do keep updates on there. By the GitHub pages, I mean the Open Source Advisory Board. Everybody is welcome to participate uh, by calling into the Open Source Advisory Board. We just don't have room for 300 people every month uh, in a meeting, so uh, if you can participate virtually, that would be amazing. Uh, but that's going to be your main source of what's happening related to open uh, within the government. Uh, and finally, I think we had some really great presentations today uh, from Red Hat and from others, uh, from Melanie Robert on open government related to the people and culture side. And so, um, again, I've mentioned communications is one of our takeaways from today, uh, but we do really want to make sure that we're uh, having good engagement practices and not only informing, but uh, having the opportunity to receive feedback as we move forward so that we can um, address some of those culture challenges that you guys are experiencing uh, within your organizations. So with that said, um, I can take any questions that you guys have. Any final questions? No, I'm just like standing between you and going. So, um, okay, one team gov, if we can have a summary. Yes, hey, thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks for being, being here the whole day. Um, I have the pleasure of sharing some takeaways from the unconference 
uh, crowdsourcing exercise this morning and the breakout sessions that we had all day. And so uh, the first thing that comes to mind is that a few of us uh, from One Team Gov Canada went to London in the summer uh, to One Team Gov Global where we participated in an unconference. And we were blown away by the energy and the, for the format and we said we got to do this back home. And so, and one of the principles of One Team Gov is to take practical action. And so, here we are. And so the big takeaway is that it's possible. And we're so thankful, and I'm not going to steal Ioana's thunder, but we are so thankful to have the opportunity. So it's like good on us, I think, for wanting to do this. But thank you so much for being able to do it, letting us do it. So that's one. Two. We're thankful for the energy that everyone brought to the day, to the session this morning, the openness, energy that was shared in the breakout sessions all day. So grateful, amazing. Last but not least, sometimes you know, when we think about open and what it means, and we, you know, we, we think about this vision of how we want to be, how we want to work, some, sometimes it feels somewhat distant, it's somewhere out there, it's out into the future. Someone tweeted this morning, real-time crowdsourcing of data collection, analysis, and interpretation, open and transparent from start to finish. That tweet was talking about our exercise this morning, the crowdsourcing exercise. So one, that's a takeaway f for me, that like, it's the future is now kind of thing. <laughs> it's cliche to say. But what we're trying to do is what we're doing. And so starting from where we're at, it's really inspiring to hear what people are doing, uh, to be open. It's happening. And just really blown away and encouraged, optimistic for, for what's to come. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thanks, everyone. Honestly, I think I've seen pretty much most of you uh, today, which is kind of awesome. Uh, thanks for coming on this journey with us. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to leave you with these parting thoughts, really. Honestly, if you're tired of waiting for the re revolution, it's time to start it yourself. Really, nobody else is going to do it for you. We're going to try to give you a good kick. Eh, no, joking. But Honestly, this is the time to do this now. Um, the last thing, I think John already said it, but show the thing, and I think today that's what we got the opportunity to do. So I want to say a big thank you. If we can just roll on to the next slide, you're going to see who these people who literally took time out of their day to come and do this, right? Um, Derek had never met us before this morning, had no idea what he was walking into. He said, yeah, I'm going to put up my hand. I'm going to come spend a day, help other public servants and the people who are here to get this done. Literally, that's just what happened. Um, Ashley and Colleen, who are also amazingly fabulous. So this is, again, could not have been done without them. And obviously, with, could not have been done without Ashley, Guillaume, Treasury Board, Marc Brouillard, and everybody. So a huge thank you for taking a chance on us. And if you want to find us um, on the next slide, just some contact information. This is who we are. And we hope you come in uh, and see us at our regular Wednesday breakfast. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks, One Team Gov. I think that's great that you guys were able to, to do that engagement activity. And I think that there's going to be some follow-up information from the outcomes that came from your session. So we'll make sure to post all of that stuff, too. Excellent. So finally, I want to thank all of you guys. Thanks so much for being here and making this a huge day. Um, but huge thanks to Guillaume, who's snuck upstairs. Um, we'll just like lambaste him with stuff online. But anyway, he was incredible in making today happen. Yes, let's just like all cheer for him. Yay! <laughs> it's like the queen coming down the stairs, just waving. Just. Um, so yeah, huge thanks. Um, and to Jana and to Stacy, this also would not have been possible without all of their work. So thank you so, so much. 
And I know that Guillaume also had a team of, uh, of people to volunteer. And so you guys are all really, really incredible. Um, and thank you to you guys. One of the things that I said in the upstairs session, and I think following on what Johanna is saying, is that now that we're all here, like let's not disappear and not do these things. Um, hopefully we can take um, not only the crowd that we've developed, but also the energy and continue to move forward with these things. So comment on GitHub, uh, share the work that you're doing, create communities of practice, um, and we'll help uh, foster all of that and provide central leadership around that. Other than that, uh, we'll see you out of the heart and crown. Happy Friday. Happy Open First Day. Bye. <laughs>